the format of being robot. The early morning charm of the 2000s and mid-2010s was a great feeling, for most of my life. The days I spent living the life of the 21st century were a blessing for my grace, even once I finally turned the double digits. Ten years of my life spent living the 2000s was served, and I could finally be given the grand permission of internet freedom. It was so memorable getting my first computer and having access to games, many games I have waited to play for so long. Now many of those games I had very fond memories of, many fun and happy memories of fun and playing with friends. I've played the main title games such as Club Penguin, Grand Theft Auto 3, and The Sims 3, and many more titles. Many of them were mostly alright and enjoyable, unless the acceptation of SimCity 2013, and some even drove me into a craving for game development, which was not expected from a person like me. Either way, I loved gaming, and I was moderately good at it. Roblox is one of the many titles I've played, and I liked it. I just really liked Roblox, I don't know why. I was obsessed with Roblox, I would buy the toys at the market store, and I would play on the platform for over 5 hours a day. Yeah, to say I was a basement boy when I would be playing Roblox for almost half a school day, was a correct statement. Despite my great obsession with anything Roblox, I only played and interacted with the community for only 6 years. I mean it, it was indeed 6 years. I know it sounds like a short amount of time to play Roblox, when 2016 was only 6 to 7 years ago, I know you think I quit for a stupid reason or something, but I didn't. I didn't quit Roblox because I got bored, it wasn't the truth. I've already thought for many years that I went inactive due to that specific reason, but it is just not true. It isn't true. I was playing Roblox on a day, I would forget. I had joined Doomspire Brick Battle, and I was completely wrecking the yellow team. It was a normal thing to do, I often trolled and joked around to get reactions out of people, just for the fun of it. After a while, the yellow team's base was completely destroyed. And the only teams left were the red team, and the green team which I was playing on. I was about to shoot a rocket to escape the offending base when my game froze and soon after crashed. I wasn't the most happy about this random interference with my gameplay, but I sucked it up and reloaded the home page. I then received a text notification from one of my friends, who had been working on a game for a while. I responded to his text asking what he wanted, to he replied something like this. Hey man, can you help me with this game I'm working on? I've been having issues with the game randomly lagging and crashing after 5 minutes. I replied, saying. Where and when does it crash? So apparently it would crash if I progressed somewhere in the map, like I found the most amount of ping near a wall inside a parking lot I had created. After reading his messages, I chose to join the supposed game and see what the issue was. I was hyped that I would be able to help someone out with his game since I've never really helped people with game development related things before. His game title was something simple. If I could remember it, it might have spelled out, D City Place, or something. It was a shitty title, I could firmly remember. Upon joining the game, I was greeted with a city map, and some vehicles, obviously free models, which I then walked around and searched. I didn't make it very far, since my game suddenly disconnected out of nowhere. I'd been expecting it anyway, so I quickly rejoined and continued. After spawning into the map, I then realized that I had admin permissions. At first, I didn't remember exactly when he had granted those permissions, but I gave up on that thought and I progressed. I then typed in the chat. Slash no clip me. Which caused my character to fly up, and enabled me to no clip through the map so I could see what the supposed issue was. I quickly flew over to the parking lot, and as I approached the wall near the middle area of the lot, I then clipped through the wall, expecting nothing to be there. But once my character peeked through the wall, I then looked down. And saw that there was a giant deep pit underneath my character. I was surprised by the random pit I had just discovered, I didn't know that my friend's game would have something like this on his map. It was just off-putting, and the low visibility at the bottom didn't help that feeling. I then made a choice, a curious choice it was. I decided to type the command. Slash clip me. 
to drop my character into the seemly bottomless pit. Once typing the dreaded command, I soon started falling, and into darkness, my character went. I thought it would last forever, but it didn't. After a few seconds, my character hit the ground. And I heard the thump that it made, the quiet thump that plays when your character lands on the ground in Roblox. After many silent seconds, I pressed the W key on my keyboard, and I walked forward. Upon walking around the pit, I was starting to question why this was in a supposed normal city map, it just did not seem right. I walked for nearly 5 minutes, and I found nothing. I was about to leave the game and play something else, when I walked into a corner, and my character fell. It fell into a room, a room with a yellow grass floor, pink walls, and a door at the other side of the room. I walked toward the door, now illuminated with ceiling lights, and I push on it. I pushed my Roblox C in character forward, and the door swung open. I started walking down a long hallway, a hallway that displayed light concrete floors and darkish brown walls, with only three ceiling lights every ten studs. The hallway seemed endless, but I progressed anyway. I just thought I would maybe find some sort of easter egg or something. Maybe a free gear, or a note that read secrets or something. I was expecting many things as I walked down the hall, but not what was about to occur. As I walked closer and closer into darkness, my character suddenly fell, once again my screen going into darkness. Five seconds later, I was in a room with three doors on three different sides. One on the left, another one on the right, and a single door in the center wall that my character was facing. I didn't feel like playing a guessing game on what door to choose, I was too old for that guessing game anyway. You know, the one called, Catch a Tiger by its Toe, or something. Besides that, I entered the middle door, and I was shown something that further confused me. It was a maze, a maze with the same yellow floor and pink piss walls, the walls didn't seem pink anymore. I once again further progressed into the maze, with trial and error. Failing several times and getting dead ends. Eventually, I found a dark brown wood door which I soon entered. I was then once more given darkness, and the door I just opened shut behind me. I now couldn't see anything again, and this was freaking me out. This just couldn't be something I would see in a normal Roblox game, it just didn't look normal. I then realized that my character didn't move, because there were no sounds of footsteps anywhere on the map. I couldn't figure out what was happening. I just sat there in my seat, and I waited. I waited for over three minutes, and I was starting to get extremely bored. I couldn't handle it. I was about to leave the game when I heard a sound. It was a loud clicking sound, which forced me to close the game menu in confusion. I then noticed a bunch of lights starting to turn on, all leading up to a long hallway. It wasn't the longest hallway, but I noticed something on the other side in the distance. I furthermore pressed on, holding my fingers on the keyboard as I progressed forward. Once I got close enough to make the object out, I noticed it was some sort of a gaming setup. A free modeled gaming setup too, which was placed somberly in the corner of the room. I walked towards the model and jumped into the seat. When I hovered my pointer over the screen, I was dumbfounded when it showed that the screen was clickable. Once upon clicking the left mouse button, it then showed a computer GUI on my screen, which had the normal desktop and taskbar. It had some sort of a strange look to the design of the background, which displayed distorted black and grey colors with a yellow hue to it. I opened the taskbar and clicked on an icon that seemed to be an Internet Explorer knockoff probably for copyright reasons, and it opened up as a secondary window, that displayed on my screen. It seemed like a normal search engine, with the text box in the middle and some other items for details. Thus decided to search for something random, I typed in news station in the text box and pressed enter. I was then greeted with another knockoff looking CNN website, replicated in the Roblox engine. I scrolled through the well-developed categories on the mock website, and I discovered many different titles to read. I started reading an article on the 15th page, and I then continued reading more articles. What I had discovered and read, was something really off-putting, even for a Roblox game. Many of the articles talked about strange events and outright disgusting news coverages, with some of them even including pictures. 
To give an example, one of the articles spelled out, Roblox see a new virus, and would explain in quite graphic detail how the virus would infect people, and how their deaths were described. As there were many weird articles, there are some that are disturbing. Number 1, The Bacon Hair Murders. Described as a lonely bacon hair girl with a yellow skirt who committed very sickening acts of murder and abuse towards the citizens, leading up to her being shot and killed in a police shootout. Number 2, Man Contracts Pro Syndrome. A supposedly adult Roblox scene with Robux who kept being toxic in games, and would say the word pro so much that he would mock and bully anyone who didn't use the selected word he liked. He got so addicted to saying the word pro that he started to think that everyone was a danger to him, and that he should run away from the comfort of his home. He proceeded to run away and he was later found dead with the words pro craved into a tree with his bare fingers. Number 3, 13 Dead at Roblox HQ Incident. This incident was described as a recent event that took place in the HQ of Roblox. When an experiment went horribly wrong, and caused the deaths of 13 Robloxians. Number 4, Research Confirms That Doomsday Is Near. A very cryptic article detailing the end of time. And how Fallout was heading to Robloxia. Now these were strange and even screwed up articles, but that didn't count the amount of stress I was feeling. For some reason, I felt like I shouldn't be in the room I was in so I jumped my character up and just left. I walked my character back to the door, tried to enter back through, but it wouldn't budge. I automatically knew something was amiss, and I was right. The lights in the room went out, and my character was once again plunged into darkness. I was already done searching in this game anyway, so I closed the window and went back to the home page. I proceeded to notify my friend about the strange hallways underneath the parking lot he had built, and that he probably needed to fix the map and delete the strange hallways. He never responded. Only the next day he messaged me this. I'll see for myself. He was playing the game when I discovered the message he had sent, so I proceeded with caution. It wasn't until I realized that he had been playing that game for the entire time I was online that afternoon, was when I was forced into joining him. I don't know why I dared to even join him that day, I just don't. Maybe the strong feeling of dread, followed by the discovery of the strange content in said game probably did the trick. Without thinking twice, I clicked the big join button, and was teleported back into the game. Now, I remember that the last time I played the game, which was one day ago at the time. The playthrough time took about 26 minutes in central time, which was not much longer than the next and final time I would play this game. It reminds me of when Roblox changed the name games into experiences for some reason. I still can't recall why, it just does. It would take nearly 30 to 40 minutes to get through the first few stages of the map. I swear, I just fucking swear that there were several more rooms than the last time I played. Eventually I was able to spot my friend's username in the distance. As I walked closer to the room he was supposed to be in, I noticed the red glow behind the door I was approaching. The black and grey metal door showed a sign of a red light shining through the cracks. I couldn't stand it any longer. I walked my character right through the door and I peeked inside. Once looking on in shock, I turned my camera around, and I saw it. It was indeed a blood red room, with the round shaped red light illuminating the entire room. The contents of the room, displayed broken body parts lying on the floor, piled up everywhere. There was no blood, none at all. No door, just body parts with different colors and clothing lying around the floor. As I looked at the parts, I saw the head of my friend's Robloxian character. Then it dawned on me. These were the parts of past Robloxians, who didn't make it out of the halls and walls of this never-ending maze of continuous, and unnerving torture. My friend's username was shown above his head, including every other head lying on the ground. I could estimate that there were over 14 dead and dismembered Robloxians, one of them was my friend. The friend I've been with since 2013, the friend I had many long memories with. After seeing all of this, I tried to type something in the chat but nothing responded. Nothing, just nothing. It was like my chat had been turned off or some shit. I couldn't even enter my inventory and wasn't able to access my admin commands, now that I've been muted from whatever was causing this madness.
I even tried to move my character, but the controls just wouldn't respond. I was forced to sit and look at the dead bodies. It wasn't graphic, but I just didn't want to look at it. I don't know why, it just made me feel uneasy. As I stared into the room, I then saw something, which moved. It was another Roblox character, but it was extremely different. Its body color was completely black, with round oval body parts. A circle for the torso and head, with two thin oval circles for the arms and legs. And to make this worse, the character had binocular shaped white circles, in the center of its head. It stood there, in the back of the room almost 19 studs away from me, facing directly at my screen. It took almost one minute, for the thing to take action. It spoke in the chat. You're lost. I couldn't believe it. It just spoke in the chat. An NPC had spoken in the chat, directly at me. I still couldn't move my character, but that thing could. It sprang to life, gliding quickly into me. Right when its body touched my character's torso, the game just went black. The window wasn't entirely black because I could still see the UI and my cursor, it was the graphics and the gameplay that was black. I waited a while, just sat there once more. Until the same binocular shaped eyes slowly zoomed in. My camera was now shown in the position of the monster that had overtook my character. I was now the monster, the thing, the very thing that was roaming this maze. I immediately left the game and carried on my day. I would soon start high school and would forget about Roblox for many years. By the time I've been writing this, I've since moved on from video games to work on job-related things. But I'm never forgetting that memory, ever again.